I've heard people asking this question that if God is a loving God as he claimed to be, if he's a, a, a caring and, and loving God, why did he allow my sister to die? My mother, my husband, my son, my daughter, my wife, my husband, why would he allow such a thing to happen to my life? I believe that this content will bless your soul, will encourage you, you will find this video motivating and give you strength to go forward in your life and not to give up on Jesus. Hi, welcome to the channel. My name is Cherry. I want to take this uh, opportunity and this special moment to encourage my brother and my sister out there. You know, we are in a time where the enemy is attacking us day and night. Today, I want to talk about the man called Jesus, you know, and what he does in our lives and what he does to someone who accepts him as his Lord and Savior. You know, there are so many people out there who are going through hardship, who are going through a lot of things have started losing faith in God and we've started uh, doubting God and not trusting in Jesus. So I want this video to just encourage you never to lose faith in God, never to doubt God, no matter what the enemy throws in your life. I want you to know that Jesus is always with you and will never leave you. What Jesus does is literally transforms someone into a brand new person. So when you accept Jesus in your life, you know, you will experience a lot of good things in your life. There will be peace, there will be protection, There's, there will be healing in, upon your life and you will experience so much greatness in your life uh, than before you accepted him as your lord and savior so i want to take this opportunity to just help you and remind you who jesus is and what are his intentions for your life you know jesus died on the cross of calvary for you and me he died to set us free from every bondage that we were in. He set us free from sickness, from temptations. He said it's finished. Now, there's always the enemy who fights us, who makes us doubt what Jesus did on the cross of Calvary. And that is why I am here today to tell you that what Jesus did on Calvary will remain the beautiful thing that we will keep on experiencing in our lives as Christians. You know, the enemy is always fighting you. He's fighting you and he will not stop fighting you and he'll keep fighting you until you lose your faith in God. But what I want to tell you is that God loves you. God has good plans for your life. The plans he has for you are plans to prosper you, you know, and just see you happy and not sad. But the enemy is always there trying to steal your joy, your protection away, and just to put sadness in your life and bring sorrow in your life, that which is not the plan of God. I've heard people asking this question that if God is a loving God as he claimed to be, if he's a, a, a caring and, and loving God, but why did he allow my sister to die? Why did he allow my mother to die, my husband to die, my, my son, my daughter, my wife, my husband? You know, why would he allow such a thing to happen to my life? 
That is a very, very sad question we keep asking ourselves. It's not bad to ask and question God why he would do such a thing. If he says he's a loving God and he's a caring God, why would he allow such thing to come upon our lives? Now, I want to take this moment and I want to tell you that never ever lose your faith in God no matter how much temptations comes your way, no matter what the enemy throws in your life, no matter what the enemy brings in your life, you know, the enemy always you know, plays with our lives in a way that uh, we get disturbed, you know, physically and mentally, spiritually, we become so disturbed and we start wondering where is God you know but I want you to understand that God is always watching you his protection is always upon your life his hand is always upon your life you know so you know I want to tell you that be strong don't lose faith be courageous trust God it doesn't matter what happened in your life it doesn't matter who you lost in your life what the, what the what the enemy took away from you you know i want to tell you that um god when create when god created us he gave us a few days to live here on earth we are not here to live forever we are here for few days he said our days are numbered now when god allows something to happen in your life there's a reason why he has allowed that to happen as long as you are his child you are under his protection he will allow anything to happen to your life remember job in the bible job was upright and perfect before God he had wealth he was he was doing well he had money he had all the leeches that he had so when the devil wanted to tempt and see if job can stand and worship God even after taking away what he had he went to God to ask for permission and God said go ahead you can do whatever you want to do to job but don't touch his life so you know the enemy went back to job and he played all the tricks that he planned to do on job you know we know, we all know the story of job and job stood strong and overcame the temptation you know he went through hell so much that even his wife friends started telling him to insult God but Job stood there and overcame the temptation you know so that is a good example that I would want you to look at as you are going uh, whatever that the enemy has thrown upon your life you know the enemy will not let you as long as you are uh, you are in Christ Jesus you have accepted Jesus as your Lord and Savior the enemy will not le let you live your life peacefully he will always attack you he will always be there watching every move every step that you are taking in your life now you know like I said that we have so many questions we have this question that we ask ourselves you know we say if truly God loves us why would he allow death to come upon our lives why would he allow my husband to die why would he allow my wife to die my son my my daughter my mother my father you know a friend why would he allow them to go you know like i said job was taken you know through a lot and was grabbed away everything that he had but job stood his ground and he proved his faith in god and how strong his foundation in god was now i want you also to know that when death come in your life and takes away someone special someone closer to you 
that does not give you the mandate and uh, the power to start talking bad about God and forsaking God and losing your faith in God and starting doing something contrary to what you lately believed in God. You know, when that happens in your life, that is the moment now to stand strong in God. That is the moment to hold strong, to hold fast in your faith in Jesus Christ. You know, because that is your temptation. The enemy is trying you. The enemy is fighting you. So you need also to fight back, you know, by putting your faith in God, by trusting in God that God, you know, has allowed it. Stop uh, calling God names. Stop saying God does not love you. Stop saying God hates you. God loves you. And there's a reason why he allowed that to happen in your life. You know, I may not know what exactly you are going through, but one thing you have to know is that the moment you accepted Jesus as your Lord and Savior, your life is in God's hand. It's no longer you living the life, but it's Jesus living the life. So whatever that happens in your life as a Christian, just know that Jesus has allowed it to happen. So never lose your faith in God. Never doubt God. Never insult God. No matter how many times the enemy tempts you to insult God, to look down on God, never ever look down on God and believe in Him that whatever that happens in your life, God is aware. Yours is just to put your faith in God and say, Father, you have my life. You are in charge of my life. You control my life. You drive my life. Now, I do not know what this, or why you have allowed this to happen in my life, but I trust in you. I believe in you. So now it's highly time that we should, you know, go down on our knees and pray, ask for forgiveness, whatever we said about God, whatever the enemy made us think bad about God, this is our moment now to pray and ask for forgiveness, you know, ask for forgiveness from your friends, whoever you, you alert to, you longed, this is the moment now to pray and ask for forgiveness. Let's mend our ways so that when God comes to take you and me, he finds us, we are prepared and we are ready. So one thing you need to know again is that the enemy knows that you and me as Christians, our time is almost up. So he's fighting so much so that we are tempted, you know, you are tempted and you, you he's trying to shift your faith from God. 